Gheohwich everyone, and in case you're not Irish, that means hello in Irish, or I guess they call it Gaelic, right? Anyway, it's St. Patrick's Day, and I thought that we would do something for coffee because I was at my local liquor store and I found this, Guinness Nitro Cold Brew Coffee, and this is beer, but it's also coffee. I don't know how they make it, but when I was reading the list of ingredients, it does list hops and three types of barley and coffee as well as artificial coffee flavoring. So that's kind of interesting, right? Now, when you go to Ireland, you go to a proper pub there, they take very good care to pour the Guinness in a very certain way. What I saw was that they would pour the Guinness to about 75% of the glass, they would sit it down, let it rest 60 seconds or so, and then finish the pour right up to the brim. Now, from some of the videos that I saw online, it looks like you're supposed to take this can and pour it straight into the cup and just fill it straight up without any kind of pause or anything like that. Now the thing about these cans is that they have a nitrogen cartridge inside that when you open the can it releases the nitrogen and gives you that fresh kind of nitro brew Guinness thing. And inside that is this actual orb. Now this is an orb from another one that I popped out and I don't really know how it works. I guess they infuse it with the nitrogen and then when it releases into atmospheric pressure, it just lets out and then gives it its go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the style of pouring that I saw that goes all in one, and we're just gonna go in real fast succession. We're gonna open the can, tilt it, pour it, let it go all the way down, and uh, see what we get, right? All right, so one of the guys said to tap the top, and then now we're going to, ooh, a little bit of pouring. Yeah, all in one, just go real hard with it. Now, the one thing about this, you don't have to worry about it overflowing your proper Guinness cup or uh, glass because there's not a full pint in these cans, which is quite disappointing there, Guinness. You should be giving us full pints. Now, as you can see, there is this real nice effervescence of uh, whatever this is, nitrogen and all that just kind of flowing. One of the things that I don't really like about pouring it this way is that you get a lot of this bigger bubbles and that's not really pretty like when you go to get a proper pint of Guinness it's all smooth tiny bubbles here they're all big and exacerbated because of the heavy pour hopefully that doesn't translate into something not so nice now because we're drinking Guinness we should have something Irish it is St. Patrick's Day so let's get something that's quite traditional now a lot of you might think that corned beef and cabbage is a big thing and here in the United States for St. Patrick's Day corned beef and cabbage is super popular now when I was in Dublin for the Barista Championship and talking to my judges about this I was asking them, hey, so how popular is corned beef and cabbage here? And they were kind of like, we don't really eat that. And I was like, oh. Evidently, most people in Ireland don't, or it's not as popular as we tend to think it is here in the United States. So with that in mind, I decided to get some fish and chips by going to my local seafood market. And the nice thing about my local seafood market, a place called Gibby's here in Timonium, Maryland, when you buy fish for just a little tiny amount of money more, they will cook it for you, whether you want it deep fried or you want it to have it sauteed or whatever, they'll take care of it and they'll give you this lovely fish. And I ordered a couple scallops as well and some fries. Now the problem with the fries though, it's been a while since I've ordered from Gibby's and unfortunately they have gone to this battered fry. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about battered fries, but I think they're abomination. They are a strike against humanity and should be banned. Yes, I've said it. I will draw the line here. You can drink any coffee you want, but this should not be allowed in America. Now, anyway, so what I did is I ordered some cod, had it fried. Now, to be honest, the frying of the cod, the type of batter is very different. It's a lot more of a tighter and crisper and thinner batter than what you'd find at places like Leo Burdock's or at Beshoff Brothers. And it's also the seasoning is different. Now the seasoning at Beshoff's and at Leo Burdock's tends to be really, really mild to allow the flavor of the fish really to come through. This one has a little bit of seasoning, but not terrible. I also have some tartar sauce to go along with it. So we're gonna give it a try because this is gonna be the great St. Patrick's Day meal. Well, first let's have some of this nitro cold brew coffee beer. All right, that's pretty darn good. What I like about this is that it's really balanced. It's not too bitter. Like when you go to get coffee in a lot of places, especially on a commercial scale, you expect something really forceful, not typically pleasant, typically harsh, typically a lot of bitterness, typically full of defects. This is very like 
chocolate and caramel and very smooth and easy to drink. Like it's super fun to drink. Maybe I'll have a little more. Like you could really pound this. I don't feel that it's heavy as regular Guinness. It does have a 4% alcohol content. I don't know what the regular Guinness is, but I remember that when I was in Dublin drinking Guinness pints, it would hit me a little bit harder than this. Well, a bit harder than this. So I gotta say, it's really smooth, it's creamy, it's really fun and pleasant. Actually, for commercial coffee drinks, this is probably the most fun coffee that I've had yet to date. All right, so with that in mind, let's get into our fish and give a taste to see how it goes with the Guinness cold brew. Oh, look at that flaky fit, what's oh, flaky? Mm. The tartar sauce, oh, a bit. The tartar sauce here at Gibby's is definitely a bit more tarty and punchy than the ones that you get at Beshoff's or Burdock's. Fish is nice and flaky. Oof. All right, well that's the Guinness Nitro Cold Brew Coffee Beer. A nice substitution for regular Guinness and uh, like I said, I think it's one of the best commercial coffee beverages that I've had yet today. So. Give it a try and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day and sluncha. This is the best part of drinking coffee.